it's an amazing business. So people can imagine if they think about your business, they can uh, imagine products that are selling in high street retailers and they're pretty game changing products. You've got female sanitary products, you've got, um, and these, these bars that are shampoo and conditioner in a bar. Mm -hmm. So no plastic at all. No plastic at all. And for me, the most special thing about the business is that it's a social enterprise. Um, because uh, with the sanitary products, for example, for every pack I sell, I donate sanitary pads to women in crisis. We've donated over 5 million pads so far to women who are homeless, refugees, uh, food banks, schools, and, uh, and, you know, basically anyone who needs them, women's projects. Women's and you've donated five five million i don't want that to kind of get yes. swept under the rug that is a yeah. that is an incredible achievement five million um products that you've been able to donate uh i mean this is just an amazing yeah. i mean it, it does it, it sounds like a lot but when you think about the fact that it's half the population and you know they're right now while we're speaking there are one million women on the move who are refugees in this world who who have left had to have been forced to leave their homes and their normal ways of life with just the clothes on their back and they have nothing. And, you know, the aid agencies and people who are, all these wonderful people who give charity to, to help refugees, for example, you know, they, they prioritize food and medicine and they don't think about the fact that that woman and her daughter are gonna have periods along the way you know what on earth are such they an obvious to do? It's such an obvious <laughs> thing i mean it, it blows my mind that even just just as recently as yesterday uh when the budget came out for the uk budget on the 11th of march um that uh it was only then that they removed the vat tax off of women's <laughs> products as though yeah. as though they're an optional extra well it, it was actually men, in the men's uh, razor blades men's <laughs> ma razor blades don't have vat because men apparently absolutely have to shave but women apparently <laughs> don't don't need to have so oh my gosh i, mean, I didn't even insanity. know that you know oh. i mean it's it's actually in the in the um in the law in the code it says that it's it originally said it was a luxury product I mean, so it's it just was down as a luxury product. It's it's just absolutely insane. Yeah. And what you're what you're doing is thinking of something incredibly practical that everyone could get behind yeah. um, and support because you know it's such an obvious thing it's that it's essential. That it, yeah, yeah, every single woman needs. Um, so so you've got women in developed countries who buy your products, and then for every product they buy, you're giving products uh, away to women in need. And then on top of that. Mm -hmm. There's this idea of removing plastic from the whole supply chain. So tell me a bit about um, yeah. the, so, the shampoo and conditioning soaps. I mean, this is something that's been uh, I've been thinking about for a long time, and uh, and with the pads as well. You know, that it's all in paper packaging. There's a tiny bit of plastic on the bottom layer, which I'm trying to find a solution for. Uh, there is a, a plastic alternative for the bottom layer of the pads, but it's it was too expensive at the time. But it's yep. becoming cheaper because it's it's becoming more widespread now. So hopefully, with my next manufacturing round they will go 100 percent plastic free amazing um, but but they are made with natural materials and they have an extra layer which is made of a mineral called tourmaline which actually proactively helps women balance their hormones and like amazing things but we, yeah with the um the cleansing bars now um i it started when um I was talking to my sister and she said, look, you know, uh, you know, uh, she has psoriasis, she has a skin condition. And, and, I, and I've been thinking about doing this. And, and when I was thinking about, you know, how to actually formulate these products and they're made in, in Britain, they're made in Dorset uh, down south. And, um, and I, I said, well, what's the best thing for your psoriasis that works best for you? And she said, Epsom salts. Um, which is a you know another mineral that comes from Britain. Very natural ingredient, yeah. Very natural, and it's basically magnesium salt, you know. And um, 
and and uh, I said okay so uh, that was the the first ingredient for all my cleansing bars so every soap that I've made um, has has uh, Epsom salts in it then it has pure essential oils it has organic ingredients that we can get when they're in season because that's the whole nature of organic is that it needs to be in season they're incredibly natural products yes and uh, and coconut oil rather than palm oil so you know and they're they're absolutely beautiful and my sister who uh, she uses we have a bar called the intimate bar which is made with organic apple cider vinegar and epsom salts and um and she it's meant for you know your delicate areas or if you've got really sensitive skin and delicate skin and she uses it even to wash her hair with she said it's absolutely fantastic so um you know i, I got someone to design the, well i kind of designed the packaging the same as i did with the sanitary pads as well because originally i was a graphic designer daniel <laughs> you don't Amazing. know this but um, it was just like another useful little thing from my youth your mountain of value <laughs> my mountain of value yeah. so, so, so just um how are people perceiving this idea that they're buying um shampoo and soaps yeah. and conditioners without packaging it requires some education <laughs> because yeah. they don't think that they think it's going to be it's going to be fiddly messy it's going to dry the hair out it's not going to work very well you know it, are you, is it going to lather up enough and things like that and the and the fact is it absolutely does and it's not fiddly it's not messy these shampoo bars last even longer than a bottle of shampoo a liquid shampoo you don't waste anything the you Amazing. know you just you runs, just have a little out, yeah. runs out there's no there's no yeah. to throw away there's nothing to throw away